Okay, so I think we can continue. Yeah, yeah that's the question for you, like... Where are you planning to go? Yeah, let's see. Well, we don't really know where Team 2 was, so we should go to where Team 1 was and check on the newbies. Yeah, the... Uh, yeah. <coughs> oh my god, the radio station. Yep. <coughs> okay. Uh, yeah, because even... Uh, if something Erwin said suggested northern part of the city, like north of the city, there were many potential spots at where they could be, so it might be harder to find them. Okay, so... All of you? Start moving yeah. to radio station. Yeah. Technically, okay. I think we're all driving in one car. I don't want to drive my car around any more than I have to, so... Mm. Okay. So, did we take a big van or a small car, essentially? Mm. Your call. Uh, Gerald, you're the one driving. We'll take a van again, mm. in case we need to hit anyone. Mm. Of course. Mm. Okay. So <coughs> you arrive. Uh like because this is also outside of the city limits, so it's this time when you ah, shh, come on. It's this time when you arrive at the uh radio station. And it's like very typical military radio station that has been abandoned. There's like one main dish, several smaller ones. Something looking like a office administration, military building in the background, like next to it. That also looks abandoned and decommissioned. And uh, yeah, there is like a outpost, like fence outpost when the security guard should be here. Um, there is one radio uh, police uh, car waiting like near the checkpoint do you mm. ride up behind mm -hmm. it and park like go outside and check on it i suppose no we we just run rid of the police car <laughs> we don't have that big of a car i'm afraid so we just st stop beside it and walk out everyone okay uh uh, how how do you arrive at the place? It was like quietly or like guns blazing, siren, sirens and horns. Massive sound on the radio and just driving like fools. No, we just drive regularly. Okay. Mm. Thunderstruck yeah. blaring on the radio. Mm. Okay, so... Yeah. So I believe you like start investigating around. Mm-hmm. Let's check out the car. <clears throat> Okay, so without rolls, it's pretty clear that uh, there are the newbies are nowhere in your sight. There are no bodies visible, and you think of the bodies because there are like several bullet uh, impacts on the uh, glass, and some of them like it's clear that they went through, and there are like a blood signs uh, on the. <laughs> drivers and passengers seat. Mm. Yep. Okay. But still, you, there's more to find, so you can give me a like. What? How do you like investigate the area? The same. The same thing with asylum. I prepared some yeah. kind of levels. What yeah. things you can find? Um, like. Right. Uh... Like you. You might suspect that there is something... Then... Something what? There is... There might be some... Someone aren't here, so you might act carefully and sneakily. That's... My suggestion. I will move around sneakily. And right, like and the... Uh, stuff. Yeah. And Stu is going to... Uh, Act carefully and uh, move from cover to cover. 
Uh, just trying to stay out of view mm. and then uh, moving up to the uh, entrance to the okay, main the facility. Thing. Uh, okay, so give me, give me all of you, give me rolls, and we'll see how this goes through the fiction. <coughs> Damn it! You go from cover to cover, only to notice that your cover is just a shadow. <laughs> uh, like it's, I don't, I'm not sure. Ah, fuck it, I'll try to be sneaky. Paranoia. So, nope. <laughs> mm. No, essentially, if I'm paranoid, I'm gonna be looking after you <laughs> with a gun. I never did anything wrong. With zero, then uh, basically. Essentially, we're just walking up to the place. Well, you, well, God, I mean, mistake. before before the place, there's other thing. Uh, you find that badly hidden tracks and footprints. Somebody tried to camouflage them. Uh, yeah. Essentially, uh, we we're rolling these sneaky tracks to find uh, these rolls to find things or to be sneaky. Both. Whatever works. Uh, it's, a, it's because if it's trying to be sneaky, I'm being sneaky, but I meant if I'm trying to find something, I'd be doing a clever roll, which so, would be that. Okay. Mm. I like to think that the tracks are actually covered quite well. We just find them because we can see the tracks of the person that tried to cover them. I mean, <laughs> this is the thing that... <coughs> because I don't didn't want players to stumble, so this is the thing that you can find at rolling zero. Mm. I just basically yeah, but, but they are not that well hidden even and yeah with like it's I, it happened some time ago like uh, minimum an hour basically uh, hidden tracks and footprints and you find like because the entire radio station is like in the forestry area so close by to the like main forest like you find uh, Otis raid dumped body Short inquiry revealed that he was killed by two, two three well placed shots. And technically, another roll with two will probably tell what kind of uh, caliber it was. Another roll, you say? Yeah. This is like for trying to figure out what kind of weapon killed him. Uh -huh. Uh, apart from that, nothing is missing from his personal belongings, so his ID is still here. Uh... Can I make a guess and say it's an assault rifle that killed him? <laughs> yes, you can. I mm. I won't confirm nor deny, but you, you can. Mm. You should make a check, gunfighter. What did you say? You should make a check, gunfighter. Yeah, I'll make a check, another careful check. Like mm. clever checks. Yeah, okay, so careful ah, examining. Ah, the... I, meant, I meant clever, I said wrong. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Uh, mm. Never mind, but whatever. Like, examining yeah. the bullet proves that indeed it was assault. He was killed from assault rifle. Mm. Like, his yeah, he, he bullet was like on the torso, three shots. Like, he didn't stand a chance. Mm. <coughs> looks why we might have a cop, a cop uh, murder around here. I, was not, I meant to say, looks like one of these cops around here murdered him. This is an assault rifle. Mm. Well, uh, as you like, check out the area and possibly other foods. Basically, what you think is going on here with your like clever thinking and whatnot uh, is that there's like a unknown mobile group in the area and if you pursue one of the trucks that are clearly like a truck trucks uh, that near the building you also find the camouflaged military truck with no plates or serial number whatsoever Mm. Mm. So, is the door open? Ah, that's the thing. The place, the place looks pretty well defended. 
before you just approach it closely like the uh, the doors seem to be barricaded uh, the windows themselves so you know what they have night vision oh okay and they're lucky as you are getting closer I assume you try to get to the front door I'll be trying to get to the front door uh, mm. yeah so suddenly yeah. Through the I'd be going for a side door. Yeah, essentially, I, didn't, I I thought it was something else. That's why I asked before that. But I mean, uh, to find essentially, do how do we all approach this thing? We see a military base. How do we do? How do you approach it? <laughs> Basically, there's something that there's like a crack in the fence that gives away into the radio station. Maybe without alarm and massive firefight, but you will need to roll very well for that, like four or higher. And I think Gerald rolled for that. Yep, I got a five. Yeah. So he might get an idea that, yeah, there's like a way through here, but I imagine the two of you like start getting closer to the front door, like even going from cover to cover, and then uh, because you rolled like zero on Sneaky, there's suddenly mm. there's like a yeah. poo -poo -poo -poo, like, shit, 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 like uh, some. Uh, Bullet hit ground and wood like wood splinters, uh, dirt goes in the air, and there's like a clear sound of a uh, machine gun fire. I mean, assault rifle fire. <coughs> Military I, grade. I quickly jump into the bushes with a really bad roll. Yeah. Mm. All right, I quickly uh, start running uh, not toward, not straight towards the uh, uh, weapon fire, but. Uh, Forward to to a uh, place where the uh, uh, that is clearly a uh, safe zone, so to speak. Okay. So running out. How do you mm. defend? With cool. a five, so. Okay, so you do. Uh, so both yeah, of you do not get time. hit, but uh, Cordelia take off your second box of stress. On the uh, second one, so it's like uh, okay. Not the first. No. Okay. The first one can still be hit. Mm. It and it's just that if you get hit by the bug, it doesn't mean you are hit in fiction. It just means that the bullet when you are getting out of the way, the bullets will, were passing by very close to you. They might have like grazed you or something. Mm. Essentially, yes. I mean, grace is more to the consequences, like actual hit. For now, I say grace, you know, just fly by, leaving yeah, a okay. short, a short wound <coughs> like that. That's nothing. Okay. Just like a scrape, almost. Yeah, yeah and exactly. And I say, like, okay, so you like go to the cover and like Gerald very sneakily, like they do not see him, even though they probably have some military grade and night vision because it's getting dark in here right now. And you are like, finding your way. You finding a crack in the defense of the building, like. Uh, I like how we let us go for, forward so, they could sh so we could see if there were any enemies here. <laughs> oh, yeah, did I see where the guy that was firing from at? Because I assume I'd see the muzzle flash. Mm -hmm. You know where he is, uh... but you can't see him. No, you do not see him. At least we're, I'd, pro I'd probably like where say because these guys, when you might realize that they are some serious shit, then. I'd guess they will be so smart smart enough to use silenced weapons. It's still a flash in the dark, you know, when they shoot. Mm. The silence covers the muzzle of the flash. Yeah. At least that's how it works when I played Armet Assault. It doesn't show... In the dark it doesn't... You, you do not see the flash of light from the firing gun. A suppressor decreases the, the sound, but there's an, a, another thing that decreases the flash, I think, but... Mm. They are. Pff, oh well. Yeah, as as I don't say who they are, but they can have both of these toys. Okay. There is that. For you, it's only clearly obvious that there are some hostiles inside. Alright. I will slowly keep moving up towards the building, though, trying to stay out of sight. Okay, yeah, I mean, you brought your stuff. Because I assume if they saw those guys, that they probably would be able to. I see mean, me if I got I mean, out of yeah, cover. Yeah, you are making your way nicely. <coughs> Still unseen and 
yeah, in, in one place they didn't do that hot of a job, so it's possible to like sneak your way in. But and like, what are we two doing right now? What are you sneaking? Hiding <laughs> for your lives, taking cover. A valid tactic would be to shoot bat. But we can't see in the dark. You can try. I can get, you can see the building, can't you? Mm -hmm. I have a shotgun and I'm getting close to that. You have a handgun as well. Yes. Yeah, he, he has. Yeah, basically what you realize that... Uh, like... Even without popping your head out, like there is like a from time to time in very regular interval, like another poof, 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 pot shots that they just somebody tries to keep you at bay. Is there only one guy shooting? It's kind of hard to tell. It should be that hard, essentially. If they yeah. are using the same gun, how the hell can you tell if there's more than one guy shooting? If the gunshot comes from a different direction. The direction is one house. Yes, but there's, they, if there are two different windows, then you should be able to know. I mean, many, more, keep, many more windows. Keep, yeah, but even if there are multiple windows, I should be able. I'm keeping a very close track of where the bullets land, so I should be able to guess. Mm. <clears throat> Give me a clever roll. Under stress, you might figure it out. Yeah, there's more than one guy. Fuck! I was planning to count how many shots he shot and ran when, when he was out. Mm, oh well. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So, All right. uh, Am I up close to the house yet? No, you are. You are next to it. So. Oh. I mean, you. I don't know what the rest can. We were asking oh. what Stu. the rest. Stu. Stu, right. what I'm are you doing? <laughs> I'm waiting for the rest of uh, the guys to get to closer. So we could start uh, flanking these fools. Mm. I, it's I, it's me, you, and Cordelia, and you and Cordelia are next to each other. No, actually, we probably ran in different directions. Because you know, I jumped, I jumped into the bushes, and he ran to a safe location. We probably ran different places. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, Essentially, Stewie is not getting shot at. I am getting shot at, and Gerald is sneaking his way in. Mm. Awesome. Don't blow in your mic. Well, what does Stu do? There's Stu waiting, uh, so it's my turn. Hmm? Alright, so Stu is carefully uh, uh, try to sneak up uh, to the uh, whatever window he uh, heard the... Just you know, the building is uh, at least visible like Two stories, so no, nothing, nobody's shooting from the ground floor. All right. And the shots are coming from the first floor. Oh, they are from the first floor. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Is it like a house or? Like a office building, something like that. Is there like a porch or anything? Uh, sorry, what? Is there like a porch? I suddenly don't understand the word. I forgot about um, it. Like on a house, there's a landing outside of the door that often has an overhang over it. Check Google. Probably not. Just check Google. It gives you really good images. Hmm. Uh, no, definitely not. Smat team. Oh dear. All right. Then I will go try to find the back door. I mean, as I said, you found the cra the crack in the defense. So oh, if okay. you want this to be yeah. back door, then yeah. Yeah. Then I will go in the back door. All right. I'm going to try to uh, circle around, circle around uh, to the side of the building uh, quickly. So, uh, once I'm there, I'm 
uh, could probably uh, lean around the corner and get a shot of whoever's firing the uh, firing at the Cordelia. So I will. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, okay, you can take your pot shot at at least lethal one of the guys. Or lethal. I'll pull out a knife. Sure, you can give me a roll if you are shooting. Because we have Two. cups down, so. Hmm? Uh, Stu said something that he wanted yeah. to take a pot shot, so. You can take a shot, you have a. Somehow you get the line of sight or something akin to that, and yes, something somebody tries once again to shoot Cordelia, so you can shoot him in turn. Hmm. Simon, are you there? Yep, I'm here. Roll a forceful, or whatever you want oh. to roll to hit. Quick, maybe. Quick. Yeah, actually, I'm works. rolling quick. Because so, uh, it's a reaction. They've been shooting yeah. at me for 10 minutes. <laughs> Not really. Time passes. Yes, it's fun talking, getting shot at. As you are talking... Okay, this guy... He... He still has body armor. Okay. Yeah, so suddenly one source of shooting like stops. You do not hear scream of pain or something, but there's like a <laughs> and yeah. Mm -hmm. Shooting right. stops for now. Alright, I whistle over to Cordelia. I pull out my radio and I ask you, are they both dead? And I peek around the corner again to see. I listen for any uh, noises inside. Any uh, any kind of uh, footsteps. Okay, so, so they are trying to be sneaky, and you can counter attack that with my own sneaky. Actually, choose whatever you think would work. Yeah, right. how, how, how... Uh, we'll probably be careful since I'm probably sneaking as well. You're paying and... close attention to the detail, meaning there are yeah. silent sounds. This technically means that you can force your way through an entire fate session, which would be hilarious. With just careful? The, the <coughs> using force, just like, I forcefully look for this thing. Mm, no. no. A good DM would just no. throw your ass off. Well, well that, and that would be like you're just like smashing things, trying to find it. I... That it's impossible to, it's impossible to be sneaking forcefully. It's impossible to I... say that. I forcefully. Yeah, you just sneak. I forcefully yeah. try to gently convince this guy to tell me what yeah. the secrets are. You hear that definitely. I'm some scooting around like somebody quietly tries to and disengages from this location. One is moving. The second sounds like somebody's dragging body. Alright, uh, if I can, I want to climb into the uh, same window. No, nah, they are uh, too high up, there are no ladders. Oh. You can't pull up, you're too heavy. Mm. Damn it. Alright, uh, then I'll uh, run around and try searching for a uh, side entrance while uh, whispering to the uh, while telling uh, Cordelia and the radio that she needs to stay down uh. or run up to us whatever, do, I come whatever across, she... do I come across anyone on the inside? <coughs> at first, like at the very beginning uh, no how do you okay. proceed through the area? Sneakily. <laughs> like, more description, please. Um, and also, like, do you look around or look out for something? Um, because I, I look, I look for people. 
and I have my knife ready to ambush them if I come up upon them. Because there are cops down, so force is necessary. Uh -huh. well, I'm not dead yet, but... Well, I was just wondering because there might be, and there are, booby traps left here, so... Oh my. Well, I probably wouldn't be expecting traps. Maybe. I might, I might see them, especially with my alert, but... I'm not uh, looking for yeah, traps. Yeah, it would probably be. Yeah, but you're not. Uh, but like at some point, you might have like just stopped before you pulled the. Uh, uh, you activated one of the like some cord, some <laughs> kind of grenade or Strap cord. something. Uh, but yeah, <coughs> you know what? To figure out what you find inside. Yeah, there are another like zero, two, four, six different things that can be found depending on the fiction. So total Geralt rolled three. Anybody else? We'll be making rolls to see what in the fiction, assuming they survive. Uh, will I will inside. use a fate point to re-roll that. Or uh, I mean, I, you can either re-roll or add plus two. Oh well, I already decided to re-roll, and I probably okay. can't use another one to add two to that. You shouldn't do Ah, well. Mm. Four Can is I? probably best enough. How many fate points do you have? Yeah, how many do you have? I just have one left. Uh, okay, I don't. I didn't read any rule on book preventing you to do that. Or maybe. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, I think it was just. King aspects 27. Uh. You could instead of re-rolling have it uh, added it to five, which might just make it better because you didn't know about it. So, mm, uh, but give me a moment. Give me a moment. Mm. Ah, okay. So it's uh, important. You can only evoke any aspect once on a given dice roll. You can spend a stack of fate points on one aspect and get a huge bonus from it. However, you can invoke several dis different aspects on the same role. Alright. So I will say the reroll for looking around would be that, like, even though I'm a dirty cop, I'm still a cop. So having dead cops means vengeance. And then I will invoke. The fact that I am good at concealing weapons and other things. That, um. And I'm using that to, like, find the traps and, or evidence and that kind of stuff. Because once I find one trap, I'll be like, oh, there's traps. Okay. And so that would push it up to six. <coughs> okay, cool. So that means you will find absolutely every bit of information it is to find. In the radio sessions, we probably have a full idea of the plot itself. Finally. <laughs> I mean, on the asylum, you only missed the two important names, like or one that would immediately will tell would you be what, the mayor. what's truly going on. Probably. Uh, um, Anyways. Yeah. Uh, so. Okay. Give me a sec. We'll see. <laughs> At first. <coughs> Basically inside, uh, uh, you find that there are like many signs of destruction, property and life loss. And inside they are suggesting that there was some major accident that happened in the past. And probably in one of the rooms, because this place is under big. Uh, in one of the rooms that it will be like a, a, one of the underground rooms, you'll probably find a room where the uh, this unknown group of armed people has set up with their equipment and whatnot. But before we get to there, there is probably a high chance that you will uh, cut off the uh, those two guys that were shooting at you. So basically, you have a first chance to like see them, 
and they are basically <laughs> they look like they have hazmat suits and they are uh, have like gas masks uh, there are obviously some visible eyes behind them but they do not seem to b because they are this shot at you so you kind of i guess that they just they just try to look like like official military us military hazmat team and in fact they are just imposters and probably like do you try are you trying to get a drop on them yep okay so i think it's to, to get a drop on them like that sneakily so you can give me another roll yep three Okay. Uh, These dice don't like me. Yeah, they have night vision. They are even if they are not military, they are military trained. <coughs> okay. So it's a tie on creature advantage, I think, to get a drop on them. So you. Uh, you don't create an advantage, but you st you can still act. All right. So, do they know I'm there? Mm, very quickly, they might real realize that. Oh, Just a question. You said there were two of them, and one of them were dragging the one who got shot by a stew. That's true. So he's probably occupied right now. That's true. So I am going to rush the one okay, so that is dragging that, the other. Uh, even on the tide, there is like a boost. Okay, so but because you succeeded, your creator discovered the aspect, and you or an ally may invoke it once for free. Write the aspect on an index card and stick in. Ah, never mind. So you can ignore that. So basically, there's like a temporary aspect that uh, ambushed, I guess. So you can mm -hmm. use that once for free without using fate point to get plus two or reroll, you know, standard uh, fate point okay. rolls. Well, I will. All right, so I will uh, first. quickly rush them with my knife and not try to just like kill him outright, but just like put it up to his throat so that he doesn't try to do anything stupid. <coughs> And I will invoke the reroll aspect of it. Yeah, the temporary thingy. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you are rushing him. He was occupied, but right now you are rushing him, so you are trying to act quickly, and we shall see if he can drop the body quickly enough. No. I mean, he drops the body, he starts reaching, like pulling gun onto the incoming threat, but then you get to him and like knife uh, on throat. his neck or the throat. Yep. And he stands still and quiet. Alright. As like, uh, if you're from around here, you probably know the name Gerald Carver, so I suggest that you not make a sound as I handcuff you and put you on the ground. And I do just that. Okay. <coughs> uh, you know what? Because cuffing him off will require both hands. So give me a, uh, I mean, uh, how do you try to like cuff him, like do as quickly yes. as possible? Well, I just like, Maybe grab one of his, his, like, 